In my last video, we looked at this problem, and in this problem at point A, we are applying an 800 newton force to A, and it's tethered by these three different cables at AD, AB, and AC. And what we were trying to do is we were trying to figure out the force in each of these cables. And this problem took a long time, there was a lot to it, but we had to be methodical. And so first we would find our free body diagram, then we would express our forces as Cartesian vectors. And this took a while because all of these tension forces were forces in 3D space. So we needed to figure out their position vector. And then after we have all of our forces as Cartesian vectors, what we could do was we could write our equations of equilibrium. And we have some of the forces in the X, some of the forces in the Y, some of the forces in the Z. Then it's a whole algebra mess and it's substituting and back substituting. And eventually we get these answers right here. And I want to keep these answers, but I told you I would show you a faster way of doing this. And if your professor lets you use your calculator and lets you use these methods, it's going to save you a ton of time. So first, let's get rid of most everything after our equations of equilibrium. So you still need to you still need to be familiar with what we did in that first part of the problem. It's just a different way of actually solving this problem. And I'm going to use matrix methods uh, in particular the reduced row F echelon form or R ref. So let me get rid of everything. And what happens and I'm just going to start writing here we need to take our three equations and we need to order them so we need to put all of our variables together and so i'm going to write this uh, this is going to be 0 0.533 i'm writing this equation the sum of the forces in the y so f a b plus 0 0.487 F A C minus 0 0.616 F A D is equal to zero. And then again, I need to line up all my variables. So I'm going to have minus 0 0.667 F A B minus 0 0.812 F A C minus 0 0.616 F a D is equal to the 800 goes to the other side and minus 800. So now if you look at this, let me, let me move this, some of the forces in the X. But if you look at this, everything that is a FAB is in this row. Everything that's a FAC is in this row. Everything that's an FAD is in this row. And everything in this row is just a constant. It has no, it has no variable. Now, after I have all of these lined up, what I can do is I can make a matrix like this. And what I want to do is take all of the coefficients. So for example, what's going to happen is this is going to be 0 0.533. This is going to be minus 0 0.325. This is going to be minus 0 0.493. And this is going to be 0. So this is the matrix I'm making. It's going to have three rows, one, two, three, and it's going to have four different columns. So now I'll have 0 0.533. I'll have 0 0.487, I'll have minus 0 0.616, 0, and minus 0 0.667, minus 0 0.812, and minus 0 0.616, and then a minus 800. When you're doing this, be sure that everything lines up, and be sure that your constants are on the other side of the equation and that you have all your minus signs. So now let's put it in the actual calculator. So I'll go to, in my calculator, second matrix, I need to go over to edit and I need to make this matrix. My matrix is three by four. And now I just input this right here. So what I have is 0.533 minus 3.325 minus 0 0.4930, 0, 
then 0 0.533, 0 0.487 minus, uh, oops, minus 0 0.6160. Minus 0.667, minus 0.812, minus 0.616, and minus 800. So let's just take a second, double check these. They look good right now. Uh, and then I can save this. Now for me, I'm going to use this RF. Uh, so for my calculator, I go second matrix. I go over to math. And I go down to reduced row echelon form or RF. I select this and then I choose second matrix, the matrix that I just created. And when I hit enter, this is what I get. Now, what I get is this a bunch of ones and zeros. One, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. And then this 574.1. 85.4 and 564.3. Now what's happening is these are going to align with the different rows that we have. This first row right here is going to be FAB. This second one right here is going to be this FAC. And our third row right here is going to be FAD. Now let's look at these values. It might be a little off because of rounding, but for FAB, I get, this is 574.1. And when we did our back substitution, we got 577. Okay, when we look at FAC, we get 85.7. Here I get 85.4. And for FAD, I get 567. Here, 564. I'm pretty confident that my error is with these rounding figures that I did. Uh, but you can see that it's very simple to use this reduced row echelon form or RREF in your calculator rather than having to perform all the algebra and back substitute. And if your professor lets you use a matrix method like this, I would highly suggest learning your individual calculator and how to put this in your calculator, it will save you time and it will limit the number of errors that you get.